I think the one thing Steam enthusiasts and a good chunk of real enthusiasts universally dislike has to be the Steam Outline Machine. A machine that is meant to look like a steam engine, but it isn't. In other words, a pretend steam engine. These posers might have their advantages over actual steam traction, such as reduced maintenance and a quicker turnaround, but it feels, quite frankly, like cheating. Leisure attractions in particular like these steam outline trains, because they have the aforementioned benefits while still having the charming look of a steam engine. Think of the fake steam locomotives in theme parks or here, on the Hastings Miniature Railway. It is therefore very refreshing to see that the Dutch theme park The Efteling uses real steam locomotives. The Efteling Park itself started as a pleasure garden, or I think that is the best description, in the midst of nature reserve The Efteling. The railway, or the Efteling Stone Tram Maatschappij, has been in the park in one form or another since 1969. The atmosphere in the park is that of nostalgia, so it seemed only fitting to run an actual steam train. When the line opened on Easter 1969, it didn't run a full loop. Because the locomotive always had to run forward for a full return trip, there are Y's, or triangular junctions, installed at what were the ends of the line, allowing the locomotives to turn around. Like most of the early attractions, the 600mm line was designed by Anton Pieck, so the buildings, carriages and the tenders of the locos were his idea. Uh, but I'm getting ahead of myself, what are these locomotives? The first is Aachje, and I'm so sorry to my English-speaking viewers, the way these locomotives are named does not make for a literal translation. Aachje, who has carried that name all her life, arrived in the Efteling in 1968, and was built by the firm Orestein and Koppel in 1911. Her life before the Efteling consisted of work in a brickworks near Arnhem, to which she was delivered from new. Despite being a century old, Aachje was one of the two locomotives who served the regular timetable, what until someone decided to feast on bat. Since that global thing happened that YouTube does not want me to mention, Aachje has been decommissioned. It is uncertain whether she will return to traffic, but at least currently, she hasn't suffered an indignant fate. Sometimes foreshadowing is relatively obvious. What would be number two, Moortje, is the eldest locomotive in the park, at 114 years young. Originally a contractor's engine, she was acquired by the Efteling in 1970. By the time she was in bits and a firm in Tilburg had to construct a new boiler for her. They also removed the back of the cab, allowing a tender to be fitted. As previously mentioned, the tenders were Anton Pieck's idea. Both Aachje and Moortje were built by Orestein and Koppel as tank engines, i.e. they carried their fuel on the locomotive and didn't need a tender. But the tender allows for more coal capacity and it gives the driver more space to work with. Furthermore, Anton Pieck felt that the inclusion of a tender made the locos look like real engines. And I can't shake the feeling that sounds a bit disheartening towards actual tank engines. The Efteling steam engines are crewed by one person and the driver gets a comfy seat. Radio control allows for efficient communication between the crews and the two stations along the line. Moortje is, out of the lot, seemingly the most active steam engine on the railway. Her colour inspired her name, meaning little more, as in the people's not the thing you do with a boat. Moortje also has the distinction of having been overhauled by the Dutch railways themselves, commemorated by this plaque. Then there is... Neefje. Neefje, whose name could be interpreted as meaning cousin to the two ONK engines, was also partially named after Dutch narrow gauge enthusiast K. A. Neve. If Neefje looks a bit peculiar, that's because she didn't always look like this. She was built in 1914 by Henschel, another German firm like ONK, but she was built without a firebox. This is what is known as a fireless engine. Basically, the boiler is a reservoir that is topped off with steam or compressed air every so often. If the locomotive works off steam, then it works as an ordinary steam engine. The steam is used and then ejected from the cylinders, but it cannot be raised by the locomotive itself. The locomotive doesn't have a chimney because there is no fire, so they wouldn't need a chimney. The one disadvantage this principle has is that the locomotive has a very limited range and often needs to be replenished with whatever goes into the reservoir. Neefje was one of such locomotives, but when she was acquired from Neve, it proved a disadvantage. 
Efteling had already built into a conventional engine by basically doing away with whatever was on top of the frames and putting a normal engine in its place. In this form, Nefje entered service in 1981. One decade later and she was found to have structural issues owing to the rebuild. Instead of simply scrapping her, the poor thing was put on an isolated piece of track and used basically as a plaything. Her cab is accessible, but the controls are locked or straight up removed. Sadly, having an actual steam engine to play with doesn't distract vandals from doing vandal things. The windows are often smashed and people, see kids, climb on top of her a lot. If you're familiar with the Thomas and Friends character Bulgy, his fate is basically what happens to Nefje, but with children instead of chickens. I only mention this because YouTube likes it when I mention Thomas, and I do quite like views. The evil nature of YouTube being aside, Nefje is lucky to at least survive, even if her fate is not something I'd even wish on a great western engine. Wait, what? Who wrote that? Speaking of England, Trainche. Built by Alan Keith Limited in 1991 to replace Nefje for roughly 68,000 euros. Just looking at Trainche, you can tell she's English. Is it the brass dome? Is it the bulging smokebox door? Is it the fact she used to be the only operational locomotive with Volskars Valkyr? Who knows? Treintje has very little history, only being used when Moortje and or Aachje are having work done, or when the service has been increased from one train to two trains. She was by far the least used locomotive in service, owing to her difficult to clean ash pan and rough riding qualities. Still, she's both in name and visually the most interesting of the bunch. Her name is another pun, you see. The Dutch word for train is train. A small train is a treintje. Naha, see? Clever. There's also an Alan Keefe K40 diesel for maintenance work, but I have literally never seen it, so I cannot really talk about its merits. Interestingly enough, the four steam engines are all referred to as female, but the diesel is referred to as male. And those were the real steam locomotives of the Efteling. And one diesel. They each have their own characteristics, they each play a part in providing guests with a wonderful experience. An experience that goes beyond the sights, but the smells and sounds too. So next time you spot a fake steam engine, just think to yourself. A little effort, and roughly 70,000 euros, can go a long way.